we're doing number 33 in 2.3. And we're asked to find the sides of the Bermuda Triangle. Now we're told that the perimeter of the Bermuda Triangle is 3,075 miles. And we're told that the shortest side is 75 miles less than the middle. And the longest side is 375 miles more than the middle. So both the shortest and the longest sides are given to us in terms of the middle side. So this means that this is what we should set as our variable. So we're going to let x, our variable, and you can set it to anything you want, um, equal the middle side. I've simply chosen x for convenience. So now this means this, 75 miles less than the middle. So we take x and we subtract 75. Here, 375 more than the middle. So x plus 375. So now what's the perimeter? Well, we're given the total, the perimeter. The perimeter is the distance around all the sides. If you walk the Bermuda Triangle. So we're just going to add up all three sides. So x minus 75 plus x our middle plus x plus 375 our longest it has to equal the total perimeter, 3,075. Now notice I put these all in parentheses. The reason I did that is because if we did have something else coming into this that we needed to multiply by, or if we had negative signs, any of that, I want to make sure I apply it to the entire of each set. Because remember, these are each their own side, one side, and we want to add them all together. In this case, it doesn't matter, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. Now here I'm going to look at this side and I'm going to try to add my leg terms. So I have three x terms. So x plus x plus x is 3x. Then I have a negative 75 and a positive 375. So I'm going to add those together for a total of 300. Now I want to get the x alone, so I'm going to move this 300, minus 300, minus 300. So 3x equals 2775. Now, of course, you could use your calculator there if you weren't, if you couldn't do that in your head. Now, at this stage, we want the x alone, so we're going to divide both sides by 3. So x equals, and I'm just going to get out the calculator, but this wouldn't be too hard to do in your head, 925. Is this our final answer? No. This is just the middle side, what we set x equal to. So the middle side is 925 miles, but the question asked us for all three sides, so we need to go back and find out the other two sides. So x minus 75 for the shortest side, so 925 minus 75, 850. Then over here, we have 925 plus 375, so 1300. So these are all in miles. So what's our final answer? That the sides of the Bermuda Triangle are 925 miles, 850 miles, 1,300 miles. And as your final step, you want to take that extra moment to write out in a complete sentence, make sure you completely answer the question.